Welcome back to FM Story. We're into the second half of season eight of this Glory Hunter save. Our first season with Real Madrid has started as about as well as it can start. We've won all eight games in the league phase of the Champions League to qualify top of that and go into the last 16. We are top of the league table. We've won 16, drawn three of our 19 games so far this season, which means we've got an eight point lead at the top of the table ahead of local rivals Atletico. However, Unfortunately, the Copa del Rey did not go to plan and we were knocked out in the first round against Castellon. Coming up in this episode, we've got a decent run of league games, but we do have Barcelona away and Valencia at home. So without further ado, let's get into the action. It's time for the second El Clasico of the season and having won 7-1 at home in the first Clasico of the season, I think it's pretty safe to say Barcelona are going to be looking for revenge. We've played two games since the end of the last episode, both comfortable victories. A 3-0 victory away from home against Mallorca, followed by a 5-0 victory at home against Granada. That means going into the, the game against Barcelona. We've maintained our eight-point lead at the top of the table, although we now have a game in hand on Atletico. Um, so if we beat Barcelona, we will go 11 points clear at the top of the table. We are 23 points clear of Barcelona, but they do have a game in hand on us, and they are down in fifth place. So they're not having a very good season at all. Hopefully we can pile the pressure on them and pick up another three points here. So this is the side we've picked. Um, we've made quite a few changes to the team that started that last game against Granada. We um, have brought back Hakimi, Diamandi, Scalvini in central defence. You and Andre's kept his place because he's been outstanding since he's he's been involved with us. Valverde makes his first start after his injury for breaking his foot. Sewell has moved back to the right. Vinicius Junior comes in. He's been injured and hasn't played in the last couple of games. And Arda Goulet through the middle. Right, so nothing unexpected from their lineup. And very little happening so far. Right, Arda Goulet with the corner. In swinger towards the far post. Scalvini gets up at the back post, heads home, puts us in front. And that's a great start. We've had all the chances in the game so far when you look at the match stats as well. So um certainly deserved on that. On that front, again, like the, the first game against Barcelona, we've not had as much possession as them, but we didn't need that to beat them 7-1 earlier on in the season. Right, throw in for them. Ball day to Pedri. Drifting infield. Gavi to Lamine Yamal. And I think you and Andre has given away a penalty there. And I think, bear in mind, he's already been booked by the looks of it. Could be in a bit of bother here. So the penalty's been given. And you and Andre might have got away with one there. Let me and you all to take the penalty. Sends Mavadashvili the wrong way. And uh, they've levelled it at 1-1. It was a silly challenge to make because he was going into the box. And that's maybe the inexperience of you and Andre showing there. And they've levelled it up right on half time. So, as we said, 1 1 at half time. Um, we've dominated the chances, they've dominated the possession. We've just stupidly given them a way back into the game, and we need to be better in the second half. Right, we've made one change at half time. We've taken you and Andre off that um, yellow card, concerns me slightly. So, Camavinga's gone back to left back, and we've brought Tartaglione into the base of the midfield. Right, Frimpong with a throw for them. Frimpong now infield to Frankie de Jong. Chadi Riyad to Araujo. Gavi onto Lamine Yamal. Scalvini comes across and wins it. Vinicius Jr. try to go down the line against Frimpong. But Frimpong gets back. Goes back to Inaki Pena. 
Frankie de Jong. Right. Voskamp at left back. Ferran Torres gives the ball away to Arda Goulet. Goes past Chadi Riyad. He did well to stay on his feet. And somehow, from the narrowest of angles, he smashed it past the Naki Pena. So Ferran Torres, under pressure from Hakimi, short with the pass. Goulet, I mean, he could have gone down there and got a penalty. He stays on his feet, fires it past Naki Pena and puts us back in front. Goulet with a free kick, straight into the arms of the keeper. A long upfield. Diamande wins the header. Ricci to Scalvini. Back to Tataglion. Again, Tataglion. Scalvini wide to Camavinga. Cuts in field. Tries to play in for Ardugula, who then wins the ball back. Ricci goes from distance. And the keeper's forced to turn it behind. Goulet with corner towards the back post this time the keeper comes and claims it before Scalvini can get his head on it right so we've brought some fresh legs on in some key areas just to try and help us see the this game out right they've got corner Laminia Mal goes short and Zufati pulled back to the edge of the area we've got a block on that one still alive Laminia Mal scores and it's 2-2 two -two. just didn't react to the short corner and then there's a man free on the edge of the box we get a good block on the shot and then keep got his hands up but couldn't keep it out and there we go full time 2-2 i think i've got to say i feel slightly disappointed with that i mean their xg is higher but they had a penalty they've only had three shots on target which include the two goals we've had many more chances Many more on target, we just haven't taken them. And uh, But we've not lost. We're still unbeaten in the league this season. We're now nine points clear at the top of the table. So, we, And we're unbeaten against Barcelona in the league this season. So, decent start. Just need to finish the job now and make sure we win the title. We're now approaching the middle of March. We've got a game coming up against Valencia at home. A pretty big game. Um, since the Barcelona game, we've been outstanding in the league. We've played three, we've won three, we've not conceded a goal. Our lead at the top of the table is now up to 15 points. We've also played two Champions League games that by and large have gone well, but the first leg didn't look great. So as far as the league's concerned, the first one after the Barcelona game was a home game against Cadiz. 6-0 victory, really straightforward, dominant performance. Um, we then had another home game against the semi against Las Palmas. Um, not quite as productive a performance we were. We created a lot of chances, just didn't take them. Um, came away with a 3-0 victory in that one. And then the most recent league game was more of the same. Um... A 2-0 victory against away at Hatafe. Uh, we did miss a penalty, but again, quite a few chances created, quite a few chances missed. And then the Champions League. So the first leg away from home against PSG. We went behind pretty early on. We levelled up with a penalty, but we were just not really at the races. Then Jude Bellingham got sent off for a ridiculously weird lunge. He lunged from about four yards away to hack someone down on the break. Um, but somehow, with 10 men, we managed to pick up a winner in the 93rd minute through Samuel, Samuel Ricci. And then the home leg, much more controlled, better performance. We came away with a 3-0 victory at home to see us through 5-1 on aggregate and into the quarterfinals of the Champions League. As the league stands ahead of this trip to this, this game against Valencia, uh, as we said, we are still obviously top of the table. We're still unbeaten. We've got a 15-point advantage over Atletico. We're 20 points clear of Girona, having played the game more. 20 points clear of Real Sociedad. 
and 26 points clear of Barcelona, who are still outside the Champions League places, although they do have a couple of games in hand on the teams above them. And we are still dominating the the individual player stats. Um, interestingly, Mamadashvili's kept 16 clean sheets in 27 games, and uh, Tolufson's kept two clean sheets for us as well. So that's like eight, I think 18 clean sheets out of 27. Um, so we're pretty strong at the back, and and I mean you can tell between being strong at the back and good going forward, we've got a, a goal difference of plus eighty four, which is more than fifty better than the next place team, which is Atletico in second place. So it does appear that it is only a matter of time before we win the title. Um, it's going to take a pretty massive collapse for us not to to win the title this season. And we just need to keep winning winning games. Um, starting with this game against Valencia up next. So going into this home game against Valencia, we made a couple of changes to the team that played in the game against PSG. Um, Camavinga's come back in to the defensive midfield after a couple of games out. Bellingham's come back in after his suspension in the Champions League. And we made changes at full-back. So Ramirez and Andre have come in. And uh, Hakimi and Perkovic have been dropped down to the bench for a bit of a rest. Back in just playing in the centre of defence because Scalvini's been out injured. And although he's passed a fitness test, there's no no sense in in just risking him for a, a game like this. So up against the back five yet again. Nice Sula infield to Camvinga. Wide for Vinicius Jr. Into the box. Valverde back to Vinicius Jr. Driving in field. Still going. And basically straight at the keeper. Anywhere else and that was probably a goal. Valverde with a corner from the left. It's gone all the way through. And it looks as though a penalty has been given for some reason. I'm not quite sure. I didn't see anything in that at all. A push on Backinger. So Arda Goulet is going to step up to take the penalty, having missed a penalty in our last league game against Hitafe. This time sends the keeper the wrong way, rolls it into the bottom corner and puts us up 1-0 very early. Just gently rolls it into the corner. 1-0. Right, throwing for them. Hugo Gillamon was back to the centre half again. Mascara wide. They've worked it pretty well. I mean, the offside flag goes up, but that could, that could be one of those ones that's offside or not. Um, it was far too easy for them the way they worked the ball around. Luckily for us, it's been disallowed and we've got away with one there. But it was it was far too easy. We didn't really close them down. Like no one within. It's anywhere close to any of these players making the passes. Right. Three kick for them. Again, fat. no one's really closing them down. Mamadash really eventually came out to claim that one. It did look like the attacker might get there first. Diamandi. To Bellingham, who drives forward. Vinicius Jr. Loses out. But you and Andre down the left, he loses out as well. And now they're running in behind us here. Pulled into the box. Valdanzi, a player that we signed at Bayern Munich, um, couldn't hit the target there. Right, another corner um, from Valverde. This time towards the near post, it's headed as far as Sula. Comes back to Sula from Valverde. He scores. It's 2 0. And provides a much needed cushion based on how easily Valencia seems to have played through us uh, so far. And it comes out to Sula. He plays it to Valverde. Straight back to Sula. Beats the keeper at the near post. Right. I try to pass it out from the back. And they've pretty much succeeded. They've got through us pretty easily there, but a poor pass by them. Ewan Andre launches it down the line for Vinicius Jr. on the byline, pulls it back. 
to Bellingham on the edge of the area and the volley he just couldn't keep it down and carry on target. And there we go, half time, 2 0. The match sets would say we've dominated the game, but every time Valencia go forward, it looks like they're going to cause us a, a problem or two. Right, we made one change at half time. We've taken Bellingham off to give him a bit of a rest, moved Camavinga forward and brought Tartaglione in in front of the, the back four. Throw for them into the box. It's launch clear, but it's going to come back at us. Right. Andre to Tartaglione. Now Vinicius Jr. gives it away. And now they're attacking down the left hand side with Matson. He loses that to Camavinga. Valverde now to Arda Goulet. Wide to Vinicius Jr. Cutting it in and try to go around the outside. What a goal. How he was allowed to go so far with the ball, I don't know. But Arda Goulet drifting up to the left. Finds Vinicius Jr. who cuts in front of that defender. Goes round the outside of that defender and then dispatches it into the far corner past the keeper. Right, a free kick Baldanz is going to take for them. And he goes in. I thought that had gone over actually. For a second, I thought I'd seen something go flying past the top of the net. He's whipped it over the wall. The moment that's really was floundering trying to get anywhere near that. And there we go, full time, 3 1. Far, far from our best performance. Just <laughs> showing by the fact that Baldanzi was the man of the match, despite the fact that we won 3 1. But we are still top of the league, we're still unbeaten. And uh, I suppose that's all that really matters more than the, the performance is the result. And so at the end of another episode, we've played one game since the Valencia game. It was an away trip to Real Zaragoza and we struggled to a 2-0 victory. But we are top of the table still, still unbeaten. We are now 18 points clear with nine games left to play. For, play. So 18 points clear with 27 points left to play for. So it's surely only a matter of time before we wrap up the league title. Join us in the next episode to see the end of this first season in Madrid. Hopefully we can wrap up the title pretty quickly. And we've also got the Champions League where we've been drawn against Spurs in the quarterfinal. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.